Hi guys, I am behind the screen today because I'm doing a bookshelf tour. Super exciting. I've been wanting to do this for so long and so many people have been requesting it. So I have uh, four shelves to show you, but this is the first shelf that I'll be showing you on my bookshelf. So let's get started. Um, this is like the all contemporary kind of bookshelf bit. And so let's just get started over here. And I have a whole little John Green and David Levison kind of duo bit over here. So we have An Abundance of Catherines by John Green, which all of these are good by the way. Uh, the Fault in Our Stars by John Green, Looking for Alaska, um, Paper Towns, Will Grayson, Will Grayson, which is also by David Levison, and then we move to Every Day by David Levison. Um, so those are all amazing. Nothing wrong with them. Almost all of these are. The next two I have are by Stephanie Perkins, which is Anna and the French Kiss, and Lola and the Boy Next Door right here. Then I have My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick, and those are all amazing books. Like, those were my top faves summer, summer reads. Like, oh my goodness. And then we move over and we have a small little Sarah Dessen section and it's just Lock and Key, Along for the Ride, Just Listen, and The Truth About Forever. And I've only read Just Listen and The Truth About Forever right here. These two I have yet to read, but I'm so excited because so far I have nothing bad to say about Sarah Dessen. She has a great way of making re like the relationships amazing. Alright, so these next two are kind of glared, but it says the boy... I Loved Before by Jenny Colligan and uh, by Jennifer Jabaley, The Lipstick Apology. And I read uh, The Lipstick Apology a while ago and I absolutely loved it when I did and then I had a friend that literally I gave it to them in the morning and then they gave it back to me before lunch because they had read the whole thing and they loved it. So that's got to say something. So then we have the Internet Girls series by Lauren Miracle and it's T-T-Y-L, T-T-F-N, and later Gator. Then right next to there is just kind of sitting in a corner is The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbotsky, obviously. It's so good. All right, so by Blaze Ginsberg uh, is Episodes, which it's really interesting. It's just a little memoir about, like, episodes of their life and told kind of in a TV series. It's kind of interesting. And then uh, we have The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight by Jennifer E. Smith. I wish it was a bit longer, but uh, I really did enjoy the book. Then we have by S.A. Bodine, The Raft, which uh, I'm quite disappointed with. Uh, yeah. Then we have by Jay Asher, 13 Reasons Why. I read this like two years ago and I still absolutely love it. Uh, definitely want to reread it at some point, but it's kind of a downer, so maybe I won't. We'll find out. Then we have by uh, Lori Hales Anderson, Winter Girls, and if you have a hard time with slow starts, this is not your book. So, um, but if you are, if you can get past the slow part, it's so good. Then by Mitch Album, we have For One More Day and Five People You Meet in Heaven, both amazing books. I love his writing style. He's so, like, I don't know, he just gets in your brain. It's cool. Then we have My Most Excellent Year by Steve Klugger, and uh, I love this book. I read it a really long time ago. This I didn't even read it from this copy, um, but I read it from school, and I loved it. OMG, so good. And then that last book over there is The Atomic Weight of Secrets by something Bowitch Ditch. I don't know. I did not really love this book. And then, so that's the entire bookshelf here and stuff. And so let's move on to the next bookshelf, shall we? All right, we are on the second shelf now, so let's get started on over here. So first we have False Memory by Dan Karokos. I gave it four point, or four stars, I think. And um, it was okay. I wish it was better. Um, I'm still probably going to read the second book, though. And yeah. Then we have by Pitticus Lore, I'm number four, The Power of Six and the Rise of Nine. Uh, definitely loving these books. I cannot wait for the next ones to come out. Oh my goodness, so many books. Uh, so excited. So then obviously after that we have The Hunger Games by um, Suzanne Collins, Hunger Games, Catching Fire, Mockingjay. All amazing books except for the last installment, um, but you probably heard enough about that. Then I have uh, I'm Missing... 
one of the books because my mom is reading it, but I have almost all of the books up here uh, for James Dashner's series The Maze Runner, and it's The Kill Order, and then The Maze Runner would go here. Then I have Scorch Trials and The Death Cure. Loved, love, love, love this series. It's probably my favorite series along with the Chaos Walking trilogy. So, mm, so good. Then we'll be moving on to over here and that is Lauren Oliver's section which I love her writing I just adore it so much and it's Before I Fall loved that book and then the entire Delirium series I just noticed this is backwards just a minute <laughs> so I just fixed that because it was all backwards but uh, Delirium, Pandemonium and Requiem by Lauren Oliver I still have yet to read Requiem but I'm reading these this month so well partially this month then after that, we have the Divergent and Insurgent bit um, for the Divergent series by Veronica Roth. OMG, cannot wait for the last book. Woohoo! Then we have the Chaos Walking Trilogy by Patrick Ness, and it's The Knife Never Letting Go, The Ask and the Answer and Monsters of Men. I love, 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 love this series. As I said before, it's like one of my top favorite series. Please read it. Um, and then the last book, I just got this. You guys probably haven't heard about it yet. Um, it's The Dream Dictionary from A to Z, and it's like it interprets your dreams and stuff by different things that you have in your dreams. It is really interesting. Moving to the next shelf because that's all there is on the shelf yay so this is the third shelf the last one i have poo kind of sitting over there in the corner because he's adorable but let's get started on this side so on this side i have across the universe by beth revis and a million suns by her as well and i haven't read a million suns yet but across the universe is amazing then i have the entire match series which i haven't finished yet i've only read matched but i am excited to read crossed and reached because oh my goodness they really good so Warm Bodies is by Isaac Marin, and it was good. And then after that, I have Cinder and Scarlet by Stephanie Meyer, and those books are amazing. I'm reading Scarlet right now, and I'm just like, ah, so good. Then after that, we have Shatter Me and Unravel Me. I don't even need to tell you how many times I love this book because it's so good. I love Tatera Moffey. She does so many amazing things. Then after that, we have What's Left of Me by Somebody Zhang. I'm not sure. By Kat Zhang. Um, and they're, I'm really excited to read this book, uh, it's so good, or at least it sounds so good. And then we have by Susan Best Befair, uh, the entire Life As We Knew It series with Dead and the Gone and the World We Live In, and then we have The Mirror by some person I can't say, but it's a really, really old book, and I loved it. Then we have, um... The Comet's Curse by Tom Testa, and then Exodus by... By the way, I didn't like this book. And then we have Exodus by Julie Bertega, which um, actually sounds really good. Uh, I started it once, and then I just never really finished it, but I'll probably start it again. Dustlands, Blood Red Road. Uh, did not like this. It's by, like, Maya Young or something like that. And then we have The Raw Shark Text by Stephen Hall. I have not read this yet, but it sounds really interesting. Then we have Test by S William Slater, which... Um, I don't really know much about that book. And then Alas Babylon by Pat Frank, which, I mean, it's an old book and a lot of people loved it. So, yeah, I definitely want to read that. And then we have Little Pooh. Moving to the next shelf. Um, this is the next shelf. It's This is all just reference books, so I'm not going to go through them all. And then I just have kind of all of my stuff down here. I've got, as you can see, all of my bookshelf, or book, um what are those called? Bookmarks. And then I have puzzles and Eeyore from Disney World and a whole bunch of stuff. And then, yeah. And then the last shelf is just more Winnie the Pooh. So as we're going up the shelf line, you can see this is what my bookshelf looks like. I don't think I can get the last one. Ah. So that's my entire bookshelf. Um, I have one more bit to show you though. So this last bit is just kind of the books that I had from middle grade. Uh, the Judy Bloom one and Hatchet and stuff are some of my favorites up here, but half of these I probably didn't read because I didn't like reading. But pretty much those are my bookshelf, and I will see you guys in a later video. Bye!